birthday breakfast. <laughs> well, we're gonna take it over here and give it to her. Watch me drop this. That's what would be awesome, is if I dropped it. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> it's birthday breakfast. Mm. Isn't it cute? <laughs> How long have you been up? Five minutes. <laughs> How many minutes? Not five minutes. Not five minutes? It's birthday It's cute. It's like a smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have any candles, so I just had to make it out of ketchup. Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yay. At this point in my life, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with birthdays. On the one hand, it's an awesome time to get together with friends and family to, I don't know, celebrate your birth. But on the other hand, it kind of seems like, at least at my age, hey, you made it one more year. I don't know, maybe I'm just being a little cynical. Then again, maybe not. I don't know, maybe I just choose to not look at it as, hey, you were birthed one day so many years ago. But now I kind of want to celebrate my life every single day. I want to celebrate the fact that I'm alive, that I'm sharing it with amazing people, that I'm experiencing new things, seeing new places, gazing onto new landscapes. Every single day should be a celebration. You're taking breath into your lungs. You're able to walk along this beautiful planet. Every day should kind of feel like a birthday. But I also want to remain realistic. I know that not every day can feel like that because sometimes life hurts, but what good is having sweet without the contrast of the bitter? How would you know the difference without the other one? Get up out of that bed. <laughs> oh. Get up out of this bed. <laughs> you gotta get out of this bed. It's after eight. We got a bunch of stuff to do today. Are you sad? Yes. Maybe I'm not leaving today. <laughs> Maybe you're not leaving today? <laughs> Maybe I'll take another night with you. Mm. Just one more night. Or not. We don't know. Could be possible. It could not be possible. <laughs> Are you sad that I'm leaving today? Yes. Mm-hmm. hmm I don't realize it yet. Mm-mm. I'm still in the present moment. Mm hmm And you are there in front of me. Mm-hmm. So it's not real yet. It's not real yet. Mm -mm. It doesn't exist yet. Nope. Mm. Let's just keep acting like it. It's not happening. Oh. Are you sarcastic? No, I'm being dead serious. Okay. <laughs> I love you, you little shadow. You little together. They belong together. Let 
so we picked a heck of a day to pick up and move. The wind is it's really blowing hard again and with these high profile vehicles it just always feels like you're just getting blown all over the place. But if she waits any longer, there's just no way, you know. She's got to get there. And even though it's going to take her probably maybe six or even seven days to get back home, she's got about 40 hours to drive back into Montreal. As soon as she gets there, she's got to do a 15-day quarantine. So she'll have to stay in her bus and have people bring her food. They're pretty strict up there. Like, they're having their neighbors and stuff tattle on each other. And she's going to need food. And even I had thought about staying here at this location, but unfortunately there's so many campers here and they're all banging off of the same tower. So I have found uh, a place down the road. It's kind of close to Interstate 15, but it's a bit more secluded. Uh, there shouldn't be near as many boondockers there at that location as there is this one. Hopefully I get a little bit better internet signal and I'm also going to be a little bit closer to Zion National Park which is where I was wanting to go next. So I figure I will be able to ride out the rest of this coronavirus stuff while she's gone and uh, when everything begins to open back up and people are allowed back into the park, I'll be right there. She left the fuck. <laughs> it's kind of sad to not have to not have views like this to go outside and brush your hair in, huh? Yeah, there might be some room in the bed of my truck, but I don't think there's much. Yeah, I might have to smoosh it in there. Yeah, that's what I said. That smells lovely. Alright, are you ready to go? Finally. So we're gonna drive all the way into Mesquite, Nevada today, and we're gonna do uh laundry shower and grocery shopping because we haven't done it in like three weeks maybe even four weeks at this point uh we've got surgical masks though so that's good but uh all of this stuff has got to get done because running out of everything I'm ready. Okay, we go now. Come on, monkey. We gotta go, Baba. 